give your phone a break. Dr. Robert Kassar, eartheracademy.com. You know, I just got out of the gym. Whew, got a good workout too. And you know, I am embarrassed with the people with your phones. You guys with your phones. You come to the gym to bloody work out, not to play on your phone, thumbing and scrolling, sitting on a piece of equipment for 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And you know, girls, you're worse than the guys, okay? The guys do it too, but you come in here most of the time and you're just basically coming in sometimes maybe just to show off because you're not working out hard. Some of you are, but you know, <laughs> leave your phones at home, okay? Are you that glued to your telephone? I think you are. I think you're that addicted, guys and girls, because the phones, remember, the devil is in the phone, okay? You don't think so? <laughs> Look and see what you can see on the phone in there. The devil's on the phone, okay? It's in the phone. It's, well, controlling your mind. So tip of the day, again, keep your phone in the car, guys, when you go to the gym. When you're going on a hike, whatever, put it on airplane mode. You really don't need it. No one's gonna, you know, no one's gonna rape you into the gym, okay? And you don't need to use your phone to listen to music. That's the biggest crock I see. I see all these people playing on their phone, okay? Listening to music, you know, being ready for a text to be able to look at it. All I can say, guys, you come to the gym, not to radiate your gonads, holding the thing in your waist, okay? And playing with it as you're sitting on the bench. And I wanna use the bench. I go in and out of the gym 45 minutes and I'm in there, boom, boom, boom. Nothing burns me more than people, again, on the bloody phone, okay? And what are you doing on the phone? Again, so important. It's not. Remember, every five minutes you're checking your phone. That's statistics. Less than five minutes, you gotta go check your phone just in case somebody called, somebody text, just to see what's going on on your news feed, okay? Or your Facebook feed, <laughs> or fake book feed because all that stuff is, it's all, well, it's real, but it's all fake because, well, again, that's another story. So guys, leave your phone in the car. You don't need it, at least if you bring it with you, then put it on airplane mode. And again, I got, <laughs> look, these are special underwear. Those underwear protect my gonads, okay, from microwave transmissions. Yeah, I'm using my phone right now, but it's on airplane mode, okay? Protect your gonads, boys, and protect your gonads, girls. And the least thing you need to do is while you're working out is take away some of your vital force. And your vital force, remember, is taken away from these microwave transmissions. Again, tip of the day. Quit radiating your, eight yourself in the gym when you're trying to do yourself some good. I don't see you doing so good. And when you go to the gym, guys, try a little bit, okay? Try. And I see a lot, a lot of people in there, a lot of effeminized men. And I see a lot of masculinized, masculinized females. I don't know what's changing, but definitely when I was a kid, I never saw that before, okay? You just didn't. So remember, the devil's in your phone, guys. So, you know, give the devil a break. <laughs> because if you keep on radiating yourselves, guys, I don't know what you think you're doing, but all you're doing is causing yourself to become mentally, emotionally, and physically dis functional. If you can't see it, I mean, just go to a restaurant and look at everybody on their bloody phone. Go to the bus stop across the street over there and everybody's on their phone. Even the homeless have a telephone. Everybody's on their phone looking for something. I don't know what it is. Anyways, guys, we'll see you in the next video and put down your phone as much as you can. You don't need that thing. Remember, it's an emergency tool. And just one last thing. These phones are microwave transmitters, okay? They're not cell phones, they're microwave transmitters and they have two-way receivings, one going in and one going out. That's how they work. So remember, you put this in your pocket, guys, <laughs> you're frying your cojones there. And girls, yeah, keep on putting that in your, in your chest right here like, like that's gonna do you any good, okay? I don't think it's gonna. Anyways, enough. We'll see you on the next video, aloha. And here's the ocean. Beautiful day today, and they're not doing any, anything to the sky today, which is a beautiful thing. Look, real clouds. Wow. And that's a real nice day. Look, check that out. Black and white night. What's that about? <laughs> Duality? Or is it black people and white people? Or is it just the checkerboard square? Okay. The, the Illuminati, as they say, the Masons' special floor, black and white. Yeah, okay, enough. Checkerboard, right? Black and white. We'll see you. Aloha. <laughs>